Hello, I am Lamarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Today's Thursday, February the 10th, 2021. A short commentary I want to do about Hillary Epsi McLaughlin. She was the View executive who was given the pink slip along with some other name uh, top executive. And on Monday, the co-host uh, basically gave their tribute and said their goodbye to Hillary. Monday, February the 8th was the last day. And I'm just going to read... Um, Again, this was back in December. It's dated December the 4th, where it says ABC new layouts include national correspondent, the View, is that the View senior executive producer. The layout that hit ABC News this week hit correspondents um, Marcia or Marcy Gonzalez, Clay Sentinel, Karen Phillips, as well as executive producer Jean Marie Connum. David Ritter and John Green, according to an individual with knowledge of the network. In addition, Hillary Etsy Malachlan, who oversaw daytime programming like The View, was among those who got the pink slip. Others affected included correspondent, executive producers, and other executives who oversaw functions like special events and news gathering. And I'm going to play the clip where, uh, again, this is Monday where all the co-hosts, it says, the, the co-hosts express their thanks and gratitude to Hillary Epsi McLaughlin on her final day at The View Senior Executive Producer. It's one of the friends. And here we, we go. We want to say a fun farewell to our senior executive producer, Hillary Epsi McLaughlin, who is saying uh, bye to us today. Joy, you want to start this out? Sure. That's a gorgeous picture, by the way. Um, you know, I would not be here for not, if not for Hillary. She brought me back uh, out of uh, semi-retirement, I guess you could call it. And so I'm always appreciative of that. Uh, I feel as though, you know, when I've had jobs and I've made friends of the road, there are friends of the road and friends of the heart. And a lot of times after they're gone or you're gone, if you don't keep it up, I think that Hillary it will always be a friend of the heart for me because I, I feel very close to her in many ways and I really will miss her. Right. Is she shooting you right now? Is she behind your camera right now? Well, she also, the, the other thing is, you know, when Steve can't make it for some whatever reason, she is <laughs> doing the technology. She, so I'm going to miss her as a camera yes. woman also. Yes. <laughs> what about you, Sarah? <laughs> I, I echo that I, I feel that Hillary is one of the friends for life. She's had my back in every situation in my time at this company and she's the type of friend that checks in and celebrates you not only when you're up but when you're down and she always shows up she's loyal as anything i've ever seen and i won't let her go too far because she's been a champion for me and i love her very good megan yeah i mean i'm just so sad to see hillary go she also is responsible for bringing me onto the show and told me that i could do it and that i would be a good addition and that the show needed a conservative and has been such a champion of mine the entire time i've been at the view and i just think she's an in incredible executive and really understands television in a way that so few do and you know i will miss you terribly but i will keep texting you pictures of liberty every day like it happened <laughs> <laughs> ladies, the co-hosts, saying their final goodbye, giving uh, their tributes and, and what the senior executive, uh, Hillary McLaughlin, meant to each one of them. We heard Joy say that it was Hillary who brought her back after she had left the show the first time. We do uh, know Joy once was fired along with Elizabeth Hasselbeck, but Joy came back to the show. She's saying it was Hillary that brought her back. Um, found out Megan McCain said it was Hillary that brought her on and also Sonny also said the same thing it was Hillary that brought her on to the view and uh, like how Sarah said she's always had her back in everything so that kind of spoke and told a lot 
uh, uh, in, in my opinion, especially when Sarah says she's always had my back, even when you're up and even when you're down. Uh, Joy saying that how she would you know, consider her a friend. But it was something that stuck out with me. I know it has been said or allegedly, maybe I should state it that way. It, it has been alleged uh, Megan McCain had got people like Tara Sethmeyer and the former View co-host Sherry Shepard banned from guest co-hosting because of Megan McCain not being happy with things uh, had been said like the time when she and um, Tara Sethmeyer, she, she didn't like Tara Sethmeyer calling the previous 45 a, a cult in which that is what it is. Uh, when Sherry Shepard was on uh, Bravo uh, with uh, Andy Cohen asked a question what advice would she give to Megan? And she just said, basically, just kind of lighten up. Don't don't take everything so personal. Don't carry everything on your shoulder. Megan, being who she is, didn't like the comment. And it, again, it has been alleged that Megan McCain went to the higher ups, people like HR and the higher ups. And when you say higher ups, that that would have been one like Hillary Manlockman. And again, she did say she's the person that brought her on, told her she can do it, and all of these things. And it's been said numerous people behind the scenes. In fact, um, I think like another higher up who's now getting ready to leave and have already left, but that was also leaving. Uh, I always been who Megan could go to. So it, it also been out there where Megan is kind of losing her ground. We, we shall see how everything continues to unfold. But again, it's been alleged, but you have to look at the fact, neither Sherry nor Tara has been back two guest co-hosts at The View since those allegations that Megan McCain basically got them banned from The View. So I wanted to just uh, give this little commentary about the last day for The View executive, Hillary Etsy McLaughlin. Again, the ladies gave their tributes and their final goodbye Monday, February the 8th, 2021. What's her last day? We, I'm sure we may probably hear more about her because she's She's not new. She's been in the business arena in that type of field and work for a long time. So she's probably just going to go on to her next adventure. But we shall see how it all unfolds. Again, what kind of really stuck out with me is when I went back and thought about how that Tara Sethmeyer, Sherry Shepard have not been back to guest co-host. And Sherry being a former VIEW co-host prior to to Megan McCain, but when you're someone like Megan McCain, when you carry a name that is so famous, is and it's the name that got her in the door. That name is why she has a seat at the table. She's John McCain's daughter, as she's so often reminds us, she's John McCain's daughter. We know she was not truly qualified. She has an arts degree, but because of being John McCain's daughter, people like Megan McCain got an opportunity to be a view for us. This is my commentary. I'm LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.